Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex and I want to talk about Dropbox today. So what they do is uh, cloud services. Mainly they have one product which is cloud storage space, which just means that you can back up your files online, you can share files with other people online, you can do many things. And uh, their market price um, currently $18.72, which gives them a market cap of $7.7 .7 billion, which is um, quite high, I would say, but possibly justified. Dividend is zero. I don't expect that to change in the next uh, probably 10 years or so, um, even if they are, are hugely successful. Uh, Revenue $1.6 billion, earnings $52 million loss, but that is down from just under 500 million in the previous year. So obviously things are going uh, way in the right direction there and um, they expect to be profitable next year. Uh, forward PE of 32 is not terrible, especially for a company with huge growth, but then again, 15% on the revenue is not huge growth. And um, I'm not sure if a 15% growth really justifies a forward PE of 32. Pretty sure there's better companies out there with the same kind of revenue growth that have a far lower forward PE. So total assets, $2.7 billion. Total liabilities, $1.9 billion, which gives them a total stockholders equity of $880 million, which is up 20% from the previous year, which is not terrible. Um, obviously, things could be going better, but... Um, Things going in the right direction, um, going towards profitability. Um, the balance sheet is actually decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Um, and uh, revenue is growing, although I would want it to grow slightly better. 15% um, growth for a company at this stage in its history is not great, but um, $1.6 billion of revenue is also not nothing. So. Um, I guess it, it's a balance, but I think that they could achieve far higher revenue growth if they would sacrifice some of their profitability. So I'm guessing that they just made a decision that um, profit is more important, um, which I understand. Um, the stock market kind of gets upset if you run at a deficit for a long time. So overall, I would say that um, there is potential in the stock. There is um, an upside that is possible. In, there are also problems in that when Dropbox was the only company on the market offering this service as easily, um, I think that people got too eager and um, kind of poured money into this stock when it what was probably not really necessary to do so. Their initial product was extremely simple and the only thing that you needed at the time was a large amount of storage space, which at the time was a problem. Right now, not so much. So you have a similar product from uh, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, um, there's probably others, but uh, they they all have similar products. Some aimed at companies, some aimed at private businesses, uh, private people. Um, but there are similar products out there for similar prices with uh, similar functionality. So Dropbox is not alone on the market anymore, and that kind of makes things hard at this point. I don't think that Dropbox can necessarily compete with an Amazon, like with an um, Amazon Web Services on price and um, on function, on speed of development, on many things. So overall, um, I think it's nice that they're going towards profitability. I think it's nice that they're growing their revenues. I think it's nice that the balance sheet looks a lot better. Um, but overall, I think that the core product of the business and what the business is known for is just too simple and um, 
has so much competition now that it's hard for me to be like, you should buy Dropbox because they're far and away the best. Because uh, chances are it's not the best, it's just that it's the most well-known and um, that kind of fades after a while. Especially when uh, Microsoft just puts uh, OneDrive on literally every Windows machine that is in existence today. So, you know, there is a not necessarily comparable, but similar product out there that you get for free on every computer from Microsoft that you can rely on. So overall, I would say that um, I wouldn't buy this company for the same reason I wouldn't buy Uber or Lyft. Um, I can buy, um, I can write the app in a, in half an afternoon. Um, I just need to have a back end of Amazon Web Services or Azure or Google or many, many other companies. And that is not really a problem in this day and age. So um, I do still think that they could get to a point where I would buy them. Um, but uh, today is not that day. So um, no dividend. So dividend investors are out. Um, value investors are out with a PE of negative 100. Um, forward PE of 32 is not terrible, but I think that um, for both value and growth investors, there's better opportunities out there. And um, obviously value investors also don't like the earnings of negative anything. Um, so unless Dropbox can demonstrate that they can make a profit, then um, I would not recommend the stock to pretty much anyone. So that's it for me for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.